A cold-hearted son kicks out his elderly mother and forces her to live in an unfinished, roofless house. When his older brother learns about it, he decides to take charge of the situation. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Wonderland Like and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Sandra was a 65-year-old widow who lived alone after her husband left her 11 years ago and her sons, Dylan, 25, and Michael, 38, moved out. Michael went on to pursue his career in a different town, while Dylan and his wife, Amanda, settled in the same town as Sandra. Dylan was a restaurateur whose business was doing pretty well within a few months of the launch. So he and Amanda decided to build a house for themselves and eventually leave the small apartment they'd been living in. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, Dylan's business suffered a major setback, and he began to lose money. By the end of three months, he barely had enough to pay his rent, let alone finished building the house. Amanda was enraged because she desperately wanted their house construction to be completed. When Dylan put a pause to the construction work, she began to vent her frustration with him. They argued every single day about it until Dylan decided to put an end to it all. So, what are you planning on doing now, Dylan? Do you have a secret stash or a genie to grant our wishes? We haven't paid our rent this month, Dylan. Stop being ridiculous. Amanda yelled at him. Babe, you have to believe me when I say I can solve this problem. Don't forget that my mother still has my dad's house. She lives alone, and the house is far too large for her. I'm thinking we can move her out of that home and stay there. That way, we can save on rent and decide what to do. Amanda mocked him with a laugh. Oh, really, Dylan? Aren't you the same person who told me about those dreams of living in a big house? You can't even afford the rent anymore. Don't just do the talking. Proof 8. Taking Amanda's words as a challenge, Dylan decided he'd do anything to prove himself and visited Sandra that day. He ordered her to pack her belongings and relocated her to their unfinished house, claiming he and Amanda intended to move to her house. But Dylan, Sandra replied, teary-eyed, your house is still under construction. It doesn't even have a roof. It's not in such bad shape that you can't stay there, Mom. Come on, you live alone in such a big house. Don't forget that Dad left this house to Michael and me. So that's it, you're leaving, he declared coldly. But Dylan, before Sandra could finish, Dylan cut her off. Not another word, Mom. The decision is final. Dylan heartlessly kicked Sandra out to live in the unfinished house planning to settle in his father's house after that. Sandra was very hurt and couldn't keep it all inside, so she called Michael and told him everything. Michael hadn't visited Sandra in a while because he was too preoccupied with his job, but when he found out what Dylan had done to her, he dropped everything and took the first flight home. Don't worry, Mom. He reassured Sandra on the phone. I'll be there shortly. I promise. Just hold on until then. When Michael finally arrived, he couldn't hold back his tears upon seeing Sandra. She looked depressed, her eyes were engraved with dark circles, and she seemed to have forgotten to smile. Jesus, how could you be so cruel, Dylan? He confronted his brother. How can you ask mom to move out just for your convenience? Well, it's my house too, Michael, so I can do whatever I want. No, Dylan, Michael shot back. You can't control mom's life like that. And believe me, I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily. Michael suggested that Sandra move into an apartment as he had a plan in the back of his mind to teach Dylan a lesson he'd never forget. He also promised Sandra that he would build her a new beach house with his savings. It'll take some time, mom, he said. I know having a house like that was your dream. I'll make it come true for you, I promise. Until then, you can live in a separate apartment or move in with me. It's up to you what you'd like to do. Sandra was moved to tears to see how much Michael respected her. I don't know what good deeds I did to have a son like you, Michael. There's something I'd like to give you too, she said, and she walked over to her bedroom closet and withdrew a file. These are the property papers for the land your grandfather left me. 
I was going to divide it equally between you and Dylan, but I changed my mind and decided to leave it to you. Michael didn't want to accept it, but his mother insisted, so at last he gave in. He didn't, however, use the land for himself. Instead, he used some of his savings, the money he received from selling the land, and the special money he had. Michael sold his and Sandra's share of his father's house to a gang of notorious men to begin the construction of Sandra's dream house. After the construction work was completed, Sandra moved into her new house. Up until that time, she had been living with Michael. Ever since the ugly incident with Dylan, Michael regularly visited Sandra to check on her. On the other hand, Dylan and Amanda had a terrible time with Michael's buyers, and they couldn't live peacefully in the house anymore. 